What's going on, everybody? This is Fry. So we had a really, really generous uh, donator, donation person. His name is Mero Barrow. He donated. He actually is letting me use his account. This is actually his account I'm using. I did change the name to Fry him up. I'll change it back when I'm done with it. I don't know when I give it back to him. But basically, when I'm going to be playing Constructed, I'm going to be playing on this account and probably Arena I'll be playing on my own account. Uh, that is really exciting. And just to top up, since he hasn't been in the game in a while, uh, just to top up, he bought 301 packs. And instead of me wasting time here, we're going to just open them up. This is actually going to take a while. We are going to open up some packs. Epic. Ooh, infestation. Not bad for the first one. Setting the tone. 301 packs, ya guys. Ya guys. It's so good. Right here. Oh, yeah. And keep it going. Oh, yeah. Just for Come on. Let's get some legendaries. So, this is going to... Basically, um, <laughs> the way that this account works is that uh, you only craft goldens. He has a pretty, pretty much golden collection until this point. Not 100%, but mostly. So um, I will be crafting the cards. This will basically give the cards that I need uh, in the last couple of sets. Golden Epic. Golden <laughs> Epic and a legendary like this pack. It's so good. Uh, after you play a secret, put a random hunter secret into the battlefield. This is good. Secret hunter. I'm looking forward. Looking forward. Epic. Double epic pack. How come? <laughs> I think you have better luck when you buy a lot of packs at once. So, the extra stuff will be turning into dust and crafting. Uh, I will be playing some ranked, finally, since I actually have a collection. This priest uh, in wild, the priest dragon, has just been insane. So I'm doing the manual labor of <laughs> opening up these packs. So much packs! I actually don't have an open all option, which is interesting. Turn into dust and then snort the dust. Go! Owl paint. He'll take this as an opportunity to learn about some new cards. I also haven't been in Hearthstone really the last year, just the last couple of weeks, so. Ah, Despicable Dreadlord, I love this card. It's such a great demon. End of your turn, deal one damage to all enemies. It's a great arena card, I don't know. It's constructed, we'll see. Demon decks, are they still a thing? Been wild. Go! Got the Valkyrie Soul Claimer. <laughs> Legendary, it's Frostless Jaina! This is, uh, there might be some decks where you actually use Frostless Jaina as a win condition. We'll see. Maybe just Freeze Mage. Gold and Common. Is that epic for one of each secret from your deck into the battlefield? Well, this might be good for a Mage deck. I'm interested in making a Mage Secret deck. There actually are a lot of really good Mage Secret Synergy cards. And she has the three cost ones. Here's another Dreadlord. Alright, I think I'll open up a hundred of these and I'll start on the other packs. These are gonna be gadgets and packs, right? Ah, first one. These are. What are these? I don't even know what set this is. It's the elementals. Go. Buy so many blood razors. Cause they're coming. Avalanche, freeze a minion and do three damage to adjacent ones. Okay. Troll shaman decks. And your opponent spells spells one more. It's like forget me nuts. Easy reference. Go. Bear Shark! It's my favorite card! <laughs> I, I want to maybe make a Bear Shark deck. We just, it's just called Buff the Bear Shark. What the heck is this? Choose a friendly minion and give it to your opponent. I actually do want to make a deck where you buff up your cards that are unaffect, naturally unaffected by powers. Um, 
wonder if there, you can really make a whole deck out of that. We'll see. Some fiery dragons. Fairy dragons. And Corpse Widow, good card. Death Rattle Hunter. That's definitely a thing. Give it a shot. Go. Gain 1-1 one, one for each damaged minion warrior card. Sounds like a good one. And Drew got the swamp. Not bad. Whee! So much packs! What do we get during your turn? Your weapon doesn't lose durability. I really haven't even tried. I mean, we're gonna. I'm gonna be able to try so many new types of decks now. This creativity when you have the cards in this game. It's gonna be amazing. It's Doomerang. Throw your weapon at a minion that deals damage and returns to your hand. I don't know when that's gonna be useful. Maybe it'll be amazing. It only works at a minion. I wish it would go face. They didn't make these cards go face anymore. Uh, copy three cards in your opponent's deck and add them to your hand. Copy all the priest cards. Copycat. Exploding. Bloat bat. Control hunter, maybe? Just getting ideas. I'm just gonna look at the most expensive card each time, and uh, this can be used in a taunt druid deck. There actually was a deck like that uh, in the L Lich King recipes in that tavern brawl. That was two weeks ago. Golden and <laughs> taunt, taunt druid deck. Part of the taunt druid thing. Man, those two cards together. I got buff though. I got nerfed, I mean. Cost six. Spreading plague now costs six. It used to cost five. So taunt druid is less of a thing. Rogue, weapon rogue. Because you can poison your weapon with rogue too, which is just amazing. And you can become immune while you're hitting things. Legendary! It's Bulvar Fireblood! I don't know. Divine Shield deck. Who knows? a 1-7 gain attack every time something loses to mind shield. <laughs> the Lich King is in the house! Good for late game decks. Go! Yeah. Uh, if it's your opponent's turn, summon a 2-2 Gala. Know, this doesn't seem like a good constructed card at all. So. Let's see if we can get one golden legendary after add all these. Epic. Give a minion 3-3 three, three and freeze it. So it can be used offensively or defensively. Shuffle a copy of your hands. This is like a fatigue warrior card. Anyway. I've never seen fatigue decks work, just mostly because I main high tempo and aggro decks until this point, so maybe there's I'm sure there's sometimes fatigue warrior is gonna be good. And it's the chain gang. There is, uh, there are decks, particularly with Paladin, that you buff the cards in your hand, and it is so good with chain gang. Definitely want to try that deck. Ice Walker, freeze mage, grab. Legendary Prince Kaliseth. If your deck has new two cost cards, give all minions in your deck plus one plus one. So it's, it's a thing. It's a thing. People use that in Rogue. Bone Drake. Shabam. Defile. More Druid. Corpse Widow. These attacks are on Maravero's account, which I'll be using in the meantime. And Obsidian Statue. I'll definitely take it. He's in late game, Garrett Talk. When it dies, destroy a random enemy minion. I think I might have Sylvanas in my hand. Should probably put Sylvanas in my wild deck. Go! Go! More! The manual labor is real. 
Am I gonna do a pack opening like this on mine? I don't I don't have the I don't have the pack, so. I'm not planning on it. But again, this is the account I'm gonna be using for constructed for a while now. I guess as long as he lets. Yeah, back! <laughs> Infestation! Infestation deck. Ram Druid really got such a blow. I was so excited about using Ram Druid, but they nerfed Innervay. Innervay only gives you one extra mana crystal, which is... Golden Comet. Burlock. Play dead. Do some good play deads. I'm still, I still want to do a Kel'Thuzad deck in Wild. Kel'Thuzad Hunter or something like that. Do I still play GTA 5? Have not played in a long time. Uh, we'll see. It's always a possibility. Oh my god, another. Play Day and Night Holler, Cold Wraith, Grim Necromancer, Unwilling Sacrifice. Choose a minion, destroy it, and a random enemy. Minion. Cost 3. Kind of expensive for 3 costs. But you know what? You can use that on one of your eggs or something. I don't feel like I've gotten Raptor Egg yet. Which is definitely a card I want. Getting a lot of phone mirrors though. Hello. Sort of wondering how many packs you can open in the day. Legendary. Look who it is. <laughs> Legendary and epic in the same. In the same one. Battle cry. Shuffle a copy of your opponent's deck into your deck. <laughs> it's the priest card. <laughs> fatigue priest. That's how you fatigue him. So you make a heal deck basically. I'll definitely give it a shot. Deal 5 damage to your minions. You can actually use that deck in, in like an eggy, eggy kind of deck. And Crystal Mysteries. The second one. Please take your accounts. <laughs> Sorry, Thing Kyle. I have this one already. Thank you so much, though, Thing Kyle. Kyle is generous. Bear Shark! <laughs> I get excited at some simple things like bear sharks. What do we get? Gain stats equal to your weapon. Warrior. Rope. And third glacial mystery. Go! Okay, you guys, while we're doing this, estimate how, mu how many, how much dust, basically, we're going to get. Oh, gold. How much dust we're going to get from the extras. Shabam. We're going to keep all the gold cards, of course. And all the extras, we will with our mind. Three random cards. Been on dubstep cap. Cap. Voodoo Hex or Taunt freeze any minion damaged by this. Decent, like, control card, stalling card. And draw a Divine Shield minion from your deck. Good way of getting Tyrion, if that's the only one you have. Make a deck that's just based off Tyrion. Epic! Abominable Bowman! <laughs> Got it? Uh, some random friendly beast that died this game. Good card. Good old late game card. Go! It's a lot of facts. <laughs> We're. <laughs> Legendary, what do we get? Blood Queen. What is this? Lifesteal has one attack for each card you've discarded this game. Cool. <laughs> the lifesteal is real. She's not a demon, though. Alright, only a hundred left. We're not even a third of the way done. Go! Alright, let's start with some of these. Whoa, that was really cool animation. When it opens up. Shabam! 
Vine Cleaver. Card. I don't really know. Vine Cleaver and Constructive. Is making a Silver Hand Raku deck still a thing? We buff them up and then adapt them. Phoenix! What's this? Adapt your Silver Hand Recruits, exactly. Maybe it is. These two. Why did I stop playing Hearthstone? I stopped actually playing Hearthstone for about a whole year while I was streaming. I just didn't have time to concentrate on I was really concentrating on playing for Zombies Heroes. Uh, now that we've draw two one cost minions from the deck, this is actually really good with um with the Raptor. You get the, these OP Raptors. Go. So yeah, while I was streaming, I just it was too many things at once. Now I'm trying to move on to other games. So it's another spike reads, spike rich. Good card. Hmm. I wonder how many cards there are in the game. I'm gonna have to take a look and see which classes there are cards that are not affected by hero powers. If we can actually make a paladin deck, there are a lot of. There's basically a lot of things you can in Paladin that you can buff cards up with. Uh, Legendary <laughs> King Mush! It's a beast. Destroy all damage minions. Warrior card. Gold and rare. Pretty good pack. Hard to pull off King Mush though. Epic. Bitter Tide Hydra. It's an epic. Adapt your minions. Cool. With Druid. Druid multiplicity deck or something. Swarm. Druid Z deck basically. Go! Battle Cry Adapt. These are the adapting ones. Molten Blade. Each turn this is in your hand, transform it into a new weapon. Okay. Go! And rare. Reduce the cost of elementals in your hand by one. Anyway, elemental shaman. Might be a thing eventually. It's ta. Power creeper. Elemental value. Oh, we get choose a friendly minion, summon a copy of it. This could be. That could be a really, really powerful card. Uh, together with em Emperor Thorazin, that could be amazing. You know, you want to play in conjunction with a big turn. I'm very excited about Emperor Thorazin and basically all wild decks. Maybe I should run an Emperor Thorazin and a, um... Oh, we'll see. Epic! Draw a card. Add a copy of it. Oh, here. <laughs> Return any spells you cast on this minion to your hand. This could be also in part of that Paladin deck. I want to maybe make a Paladin deck where you bump up your guys. That would be a good addition. Buff up your guy, Paladin. Volcano. 15 randomly split among all minions. Okay. Come on, man. Control Shaman, is that a thing? <laughs> Gold and Legendary! Our first one! Cannot be targeted by spells or hero powers, so, uh, I don't know if this would really work. It's obviously a druid card, so. Nice ramp card, maybe, if ramp was good. <laughs> we got one! Ha! Ah, mission successful. I kind of like this because I'm still becoming a little bit familiar with a lot of the cards in this game, so I'm kind of just glancing at the ones that I haven't seen yet. Or I don't really know what they do. Vine Cleaver, Tar Lord, Ta. He has four attack during your opponent's turn. Nice taunt card. Good old taunty. Rare. Steed. This is, uh, this would obviously work very well in that held in that theoretically. Totem, not bad. And for the pressure. Go! Be here. 
Corrupting mist. Corrupt every minion to stream the end of your turn. Field clear car. Or luck. Ah, the egg! Oh, they, of course they're in these bags. <laughs> I was wondering how come I wasn't getting them. I was opening up the wrong type of pack. They're in this one. My anaconda don't! Summon a minion from your hand with five or more attack. This could be really useful. Ah, the ramp is kind of real. Make orange Jesus decks for sure. We can have fun too. I'm thinking like serious Hearthstone right now, but definitely gonna have some fun. Cruel Di Dino Mancer. Summon a random minion you discarded this game. Okay. Servant of Kalamos. Volley, this is a good, uh, like, a Miracle Rogue card, especially if you have Emperor Thoris in, so it's wild. Gain 5 armor. Hmm. I wonder. Cruel Dynomancer again. And. Revenus Pterodax. Destroy a friendly minion to adapt twice. This is really good with eggs, egg decks. The eggs are real. Egg value. Mind Cleaver. Crackling Razor Maw. I'm going to be saying a lot of the cards out loud just so I can kind of commit them to memory. This is actually a really good way of learning the cards. <laughs> Feeding time! Make three of these guys with Warlock. Ah, juggler value. This is called Shimmering Tempest. You can press the space bar and it brings... It brings packs to the middle? Oh yeah? Let's try it. Golden Common. Taunt, battle cry, discard two random cards. Wow, it's a 4 3 8. <laughs> taunt, death rattle, shuffle a 6 9 dino horn with taunt into your deck, which I believe costs 5, so warrior. Might work. So you press spacebar. Oh, there you go. And it does the last type of pack that you open. And it's gluttonous ooze. Spacebar doesn't help you open them. Ah, spacebar value. You're right, that does go faster. Runt, Volcano, Tulvir Warden. Draw two uncaused minions. I've experienced that with the with the uh, Raptor in Arena, actually, once. That's pretty cool. Hunter, I'll be putting that up soon. I'm a real Hunter Arena, then. Tidal Surge, 4 damage to a minion, 4 health to your hero. Okay, control card. That's not bad. Summon hand recruits. Stuff like that. Okay. Even that could really work in the buff deck. Let's see. And here's the Raptor. That's really good. Good one cost card for, for Hunter. He's not there. Epic! Meteor! Not bad. Full Dynamancer again. Meteorologist. Legendary! It's Sherazin, Corpse Flower. So go dormant, play four cards, and turn to revive this minion. So it's kind of like in a rogue deck that you play a lot of stuff. Good rogue card. Great legendary. It's it's using constructing some decks. I have seen some deck lists before. I you know haven't obviously played any of these decks. I've just kind of. Look around, see what kind of decks people are using. Eventually we're gonna start being creative on our own. Temple Star. Nice. Go! You know, even adapting can really make them not not be hurt by, by powers, so... Maybe that'll be a consideration. Go! <laughs> Golden Legendary! The Swamp King Dread, after your opponent plays a minion attack it. Second Gulgen Legendary! Let's see how many more we can get. Binding Heal, free from Amber, good card. Go! 
Shadow Visions, discover a copy of a spell in your deck. So this can be used for very specific reasons. If you have a very... Priest decks can be specific where you basically summon a card and then you start spawning just a million copies of that same one. I want to try that sometime. It's going to be tough to control deck, but it's definitely possible. Go! Totem, Curious, Glimmer Root, Battle Cry. Look at three cards. Guess which one started in your opponent's deck to get a copy of it. Golden Epic. Golden Epic. Discover a spell. Reduces cost by two. Uh, is this really useful in Mage? Maybe. You know, that card actually might be good with, um... Might be good with, with Arc Mage. Antonitis, whatever his name is. Rayer! <laughs> two, <laughs> two Dynamancers in one deck. That's pretty good. Zap your minions. Go. Shabam. Dino Mancy. Your hero power becomes give a beast 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> the beast is real. Uh, I guess he only wrote one of those in the deck, huh? Or else though, the second one becomes dead. Man. Hunter Beast deck. I think runs that card constructed. It's possible. Go. Meteor. Ordinary Direhorn, Taunt, Battle Cry, Adapt. Warrior Beast. Legendary! It's Hemet, or Hemet, Jungle Hunter. 666, Battle Cry, destroy all cards in your deck that cost three or less. <laughs> Double Legendary! The Caverns Below quest. This is the Rogue quest. Play five minions. Same name, get Crystal Core. Oh, so these are how you get the, um, these quest cards so we can actually make quest rogue now kind of interested in playing the quest the quest uh decks i haven't been impressed by them in general because whenever people play quest decks i basically do aggro decks mostly i've it's in constructed i've mainly done that in the past it's past just like mech mage or whatever um because of my small collection and usually the aggro decks will just kill the quest decks it's just it's like no contest so anyway see how that goes Double legendary pack. Mirage Caller. Choose a friendly minion, summon a 1 1 copy of it. So you can, you know, that, that could be Ragnaros. It could be guys with really good death rattle abilities and stuff like that. It's a good priest card. Fits in with the priest theme, sort of. Trigger friendly minion's death rattle. Great card. Meme quest. Free commander. Steed! Spike Ridge Steed. Sated Thresher down. Go! Devil Saurus! My Devil Saurus egg! Go! Hallucination! Discover a card from your opponent's class. Anyway, hand or good. Stone Sentinel. Sentinel. Senate. I said Sentinel. If you played an elemental last turn, summon two, two, three elementals with taunt. Elemental Shaman. What's going on, Dubstep? It's a golden egg. Golden egg Valiant. Tidal Surge. Friendly minion 1-1, one, one, then gain arm equal to its attack. Anyway. Control Dex. I attack control Dex. Go! 
do you need help with, man? Let me chat here a little bit. Volcanus soar. All the dinosaurs are beasts. We should just be a dinosaur tribe, why not? I don't like beasts. Just the cost of elementals in your hand. Okay. This is so cool! Shell shifter! Can attacks. What do you do? You silence this. This is like silence your own cards deck. Maybe that would work. Transform to a 5 3 with stealth or a 3 5 with taunt. Uh, nice versatile card. Go. Shell shifter again. Bam! <laughs> Not bad. Mirage color, she's a minion and charge double star. Defensive beast. Shadow Visions, discover a copy of a spell in your deck. So, again, this will be part of that priest theme where you. These priest decks you can make kind of unilateral. Or a one direction. You know, you just. You get, like, let the guy die and then you keep on resummoning and keep on making more copies of it. You have to just choose which minions are going to be your targets. Alright, we're going to finish these and we'll go back to the. Lich King deck. Packs, whatever they're called. Go. Hmm, not that many legendaries. Raptor Hatchling. Boom. Go. And it's Gentle Megasaur. Adapt your Murlocs. Murloc card. Murloc Paladin. Actually seems like a really, really good card. Here's the legendary. Fire Plume's Heart. It is the quest for Warrior. The Taunt Quest. It happens to be the Taunt Quest is a good one. You have to play a lot, but uh, it can maybe stay off aggro decks with your Taunt Quest. You have to get good value taunts. <laughs> Filthy Sentinel. Anyway. Go! Stonehill Defender. Becoming a staple in warrior, quest warrior decks. I don't really like it. Go! Oh, we got a lot of Razor Leafs. A whole lot. You can also taunt those Razor Leafs. Pretty good taunt man. Yeah. Venom Weapon. I love that card. That's the first one we got. Totem. Let's go. One more Legendary. Out of these 18 packs. Epic! Champion. So there's the second one we got. I'm really interested in trying out that Paladin deck. There's going to be so many things for me to try right now, it's going to be ridiculous. I'm going to be going with Priest, um, <laughs> Dragon Priest today, which it seems like in Wild just dominates Wild. It's so good because I'm going to explain a little bit why Dragon Priest is so good in Wild nowadays. How it, it's probably one of the best decks. I can actually make a couple of additions to it. Go! Go. Volcanosaurus Rex. And Curious Glimmeru. Ah, yeah, we did this. Get getting cards. <laughs> Which one's in your opponent's deck? The guessing is on. Golden Kama. Stream Surger, Venom, there, there you go. Still rogue decks. And then just play Heelbot. I might brain things really, really wild. I'm gonna have to start thinking standard. I really have not played standard at all. Very wild. 
really since I stopped playing since Standard. That's actually right when I stopped playing this game is when they made Standard. Actually, I think I deleted Hearthstone from my phone or wherever it was on. Uh, like, right while they were announcing Standard's coming. Maybe right after. One more Leggy! Golden Lion Cleaver. Cool. Cool, cool. Any guesses on how much dust we're going to have, you guys? GTA stream? I'm not going to do GTA for another while. Wait, wait. Game 1-1 one, one for each card you play this turn. It's going to be good. It's like a mini version of what we call that legendary again. Tar Creeper, Corrupting Mist. And the final one! Volcano. All right, here we go. Shabam. Crypt Lord. Corpse Razor. Not bad. It's only undead. Lich King cards. Did get a Lich King already. Corpse Widow. They're so evil, all these. Those ones were just jungles. I hear Baby Fry. Banshee. Like a banshee. Toxic arrow do two damage to a minion if there's five pieces of poisonous, so it's kind of either a removal card, either a small removal card or a big removal card. It's sort of like a take your pick kind of card. Pros and clone. Let's go, Legends. Where are ya? Epic. Dracari Enchanter. Your end of turn effects trigger twice. I, I'm gonna have to think about like what <laughs> what are the end of turn effects and stuff. We'll figure it out. Ragnaros? You get double Ragnaros. Double Ragnaros shots! Which the cost for? Todd. Yeah, we're playing Hearthstone now. <laughs> No, I feel confident in Hearthstone Constructed. I'm gonna be able to make whatever I want. I wonder, I'm really curious which decks beat Dragon Priest. And it's hard for me to even, like, in my mind, construct a deck that really, really beats it. You know, it's so good in both early games and late game. I'm actually gonna make one addition to that deck before I do it. I'm gonna stick in, like, a Sylvanas and a Thoris in, I think. Five slot needs some work. Abominable Bowman! It's cute. Man. So I'm gonna have a new battle tag. It's still fry him up, but it's like 1708 or something. Boom. Man. Go. Oh we got Glacial Mysteries. Put one of each secret from your honest another major card. Come on, man! Let's give these guys some legendaries. Should definitely change my card back. Card back with the eye eyeball on it. That was really creepy. Go! Man. Epic! Gnome, <laughs> Gnome Ferratu. I don't know what the point is. Remove the top card off your opponent's deck. I mean, sometimes it can burn their win condition, but um, it's not. It's a two-three. Is there such thing as fatigue? Man. I don't know. Fatigue warlock. Bear Shark! Uh, what does any of this mean? I made a little tutorial for Hearthstone, but the idea is just keep playing. You go through the tutorial in the game and you'll kind of learn how it works. 
Yeah, it's much better on PC, especially on this PC. Even my laptop didn't run it very well. The PC, it was really, this is a game that was made for PC version. It doesn't, yeah, the mobile app just doesn't run well, and it takes about two gigabytes, so. I do have it on my phone, but I hardly ever play on my phone. Your phone works better on PC, you probably have a junkie. Good phone and a bad PC. Still gets here. Hero cards? What's this? Tone marker. And a random death rail minion that died this game to your hand. You know, again, this could work with this priest deck. I'm just trying to think of little ideas here. The priest deck where you... Uh, where you basically have one big card. Maybe it's it'll be a death rattle. We'll see. Boom. Rattling Rascal. Summon a 5-5 Skeleton Death Rail someone to your opponent, so... Bouncing this back with your hands would be cool. Still a 4-5-5, five, five, then. I don't know. When do the huge Giganticus packs come back? I have no idea. No clue. Sorry. Snore! Phantom Freebooter, gain stats equal to your weapons. Pirate. Ooh, pirate decks! I forgot all about pirate decks. On the try some. This is when pirate decks are actually good. <laughs> These are the heroes that are like, okay, look. There's some serious pirate synergy in this game. Do you ever use, I'm just trying to think, do you ever use the one that makes your opponent unable to use hero powers? Here you go! Score Lorge Garrosh, alternate hero. Equip a 4 3 Shadow more that also damage adjacent minions. Pretty good. Nice, expensive uh, alternate Garrosh. And what does the uh, power do? Figure out from playing with it. <laughs> Third Gnome. Enrage that. Perhaps. I definitely want to try the warrior decks where you're damaging your own guys and stuff. Let's see how good it is. Doomed Apprentice. Oh, this spells cause one more. You know, sometimes if you calculate exactly when they're going to field clear you, play Doomed Apprentice and you get them. In a, in a deck that you really can't be field cleared, that's like the problem and you're not worried about Drake and minions and stuff like that? Eh, maybe not. After a friendly minion lose Divine Shield, game will attack. Uh, so I opened up a hundred, two hundred of these packs and a hundred of the uh, jungle, jungle ones, whatever they're called. I should probably know what they're called, right? These are called Frozen Throne, and the other one was called Journey to Angara. So I did about a hundred Journey to Angara and about two hundred of these, approximately. Here we go. Long sacrifice. Black art. Whenever your hero is healed to that much damage, random enemy minion. I have no idea how to use this in constructed. No clue. Like a heal deck. I mean, maybe with like heal bot, that would be amazing. Actually, <laughs> still thinking wild. Corpse taker. Put that in, you know, in a deck with life steal and divine shield. It's amazing. Go. Next legendary, Hadronox, Death Rail, summon your taunt minions that die this game. So it's a taunt druid card. It's really slow that it's a death rattle. Maybe if you can get cards that trigger death rattles. I don't know. Mindbreaker. So many epics. Looking for those legies. Go. This is a fun stream. <laughs> Cue it up the storm. The storm. Go. Oh yeah. Keep it going. Bring it on! Bring it on! My favorite card. Game 10 armor. Reduce the cost of minions in your opponent's hand by 2. <laughs> Bring it on. It's good in the late game. It's a cheap card. Just armor up. Bring it on. 
And go. Get gigantic. This is cool. I hear a baby cry. Shallow grave digger. Uh, death rattle minions here. And there's death rattle deck. It's not a good card. Cobalt, golden cobalt. Come on, give us some good stuff we haven't seen yet. Using the classic bag for this. Ghastly Conjure, add mirror image to your hand. Again, this could be good. I'm thinking Archmage Antonidas, maybe. It's kind of interesting. I, I, I haven't seen that card have been played in uh, years, literally. But I'm not giving up on Archmage in Wild. I, I wouldn't even be surprised if he was retired from Standard by now. I don't know anything about that. Brace Darkness, choose an enemy minion at the start of your turn, gain control of it. Cool. Golden Epic, Furnace, Fire, Colossus. When does this, when is this a good idea? Discard weapons from your hand and gain stats. It just dies to hard removal. And you discarded cards. I don't know. Shallow Grave Digger. Yay. Where's Mixed Up Grave Digger? Go. I'm sure if I'm recording this, by the way. Oh, I am. That's nice. Go. 37 more. Man. Quest Mage has Antonidas as the win condition? Really? Okay. I don't think I've seen anyone play Quest Mage. I don't think I've seen anyone. I've seen a lot of Quest Warrior. But it's mostly scrubs anyway. And I haven't, I haven't you know, hit Legend yet. We're going to hit Legend in no time now. Kind of interested in wild in the beginning, and then I'll get into standard a little bit later. This is gonna, these packs obviously help with the standard. And thank you so much, D. Burian. How do you beat the Lich King with no high cards? You need expensive decks to beat the Lich King. I mean, you need this love, you know, it's so hard just without your, um, your Doomsayers. What is this? Fourth racial mystery? So many epics. Quest Mage is legit. I'll, I'll look it up and find a deck list and tinker it. I'm gonna probably take a lot of deck lists from around and tinker them. Eventually I'll start making it my own. Ah, still have lots of learning in this game, but we're learning fast. I'm learning a lot from this pack opening, actually. Come familiar with the cards. Plague Scientist. This could be really useful. Which for is Hunter. Don't lose durability. Weapon Rogue. Ghastly Conjurer. Legendary! It's Valera, the Hollows. This is the third uh, alternate hero we got. We got Jaina and Gara so far. Here's Valera. I'll take it. Gain stealth and pull your next turn. So it protects you. It's almost like an ice block. Kind of like it. Let me start copying cards. The hero power is okay. Your power is like just draw a free card every turn, you can sort of manipulate what it is. It's Despicable Dreadlord. How many Legis so far? Um, about nine, I think. <laughs> it's so interesting, you open up 300 packs and you get like nine legendaries. It's really not a lot. We got three alternate heroes, we got two quests, I believe. Uh, so that's five. Probably got about four or five other legends. I, mean, I think like ten. Let's see if we can get one more here. We're gonna have a lot of dust to be able to craft the legendary so since we're getting a whole lot of um, repeats. At least the legendary drop rate was increased a little bit. This is a good card. Deal two damage random enemy freeze it. Maybe. What just happened? OBS crashed. Why did OBS which OBS crashed? Oh, it's the little OBS. Nope. 
Uh, so it just means YouTube is gonna be stalled a little bit. I have like this old version of OBS that I stream to YouTube with. So, let's see if we can, um... Ooh, crash. Crash and burn. I'll turn that back on. Sorry, YouTube. Frozen clone. After your opponent plays a minion, add two copies of it to your hand. Eh. And keep it going. Hey, epic treachery! Choose a friendly minion and give it to your opponent. <laughs> Maybe you do that with the what's it called? All the ones that have a bad death rattle. Warlock. I'm just thinking with the um, what's it called? The guy that summons the five five. That would be cool. Seems like a. A lot, a lot for a little bit of value. You know, exact combination of two cards. I mean, generally useless cards in your hand. Then you have to draw, have a lot of bad death rattle cards in your deck. Treachery. There we go, Voodoo Hexer. Freeze. Copy the lowest cost minion in your hands. So this can be another one with Mage. Anyway. You can have just big cards, and big mage, big mage, whatever you call it. Skelamansa. Anti field clear card. Could be a really useful anti field clear card, actually. Two epics. <laughs> Fifth gnome. Meat wagon. This is really an epic. This is really good with um, validated doomsayer. Oh, and double and eggs. Pretty good picks. I'm run in the egg deck like in that lich recipe. Go! Wicked Skeleton. Gain 1-1 one, one for each minion that died this turn. Anyway. Geist. Come on, guys. You gotta guess how much how much dust. Let's go. My guess is... I'm gonna guess, uh... I'm gonna guess 50,000. Is that normal? Is that way too much? I think that's way too much. Some of these cards we had already, though, before the stack opening. I'm kind of curious. Go. All right, two more. Come on, man. It's almost over. The pack opening. There we go, exploding bloat bat. I wonder if there's such thing as control hunter. We'll see. Good lord. The last pack. This is the 301st pack of today. Thank you again, Mero Barrow, for <laughs> letting us use your account. Bring it out. Oh. <laughs> Not bad. Second meat wagon. Third, I think, actually. Alright, guys. That was 301 packs in Hearthstone. I'm really curious to see how much dust this made. Let's find out. Crafting. Uh, 11,000. I said 50,000. <laughs> okay. Disenchant extra. So this is not going to disenchant the uh, golden cards, right? It's, it's only... It's not disenchanting any of the golden cards. Only one golden common and golden rare that family we have extra for, so. I'll definitely take it. Disenchanting time. 11,000. So, that's enough for a few, a few golden legendaries. Here we have lots of. You know, this account did come with what's it called. Um, it came with plenty of stuff. We have a little top of it about 40,000. And it's time to play some Constructed. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was the 301 pack opening. Really excited to get into every aspect of this game now and get really, really creative in Constructed, particularly in Wild. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe.